And now I present to you James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we are back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow the <laughs> Third. Yeah. Doing promo from the previous uh, part, the previous video. If you watched, this is Progressive Discussions for this week, and I am here with the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, continue with the show. All right, yeah. <coughs> Olympic marathon runners and college football stars chug a lug beet juice for a performance boost. A raw, a raw beet juice that is juice raw with the greens is a powerhouse juice, a nutritional uh, a drink. Headlines tout watermelon as the miracle recovery fruit. Definitely watermelon has a, a nutritional value, without a doubt. Lycopene and other things. Sure. These humble edibles are now international superstars with top billing in pricey juices. Pricey juices? Well, I got news for you. They're not pricey produce. Workout powders and even energy bars. Now, they are... You got to watch them. Powder, uh, powder drinks and bars, especially bars. But high in sugar. Do beets and watermelon live up to all the hype? And can you get the benefits without shelling out a small fortune? You shouldn't have to shell out a small fortune. Number one, number two. If if this is uh, the orthodox uh, uh, officialdom talking or big pharma, they will. They will poo-poo the produce. Here's what's in it for you. These red foods work wonders by increasing levels of artery-relaxing nitric oxide in the body. Relaxed arteries mean increased blood flow and that means better athletic and don't forget sexual. Yeah. Performance. Some studies have suggested that watermelon juice and beet juice could give elite competitors an edge at the finish line. Can't go wrong with brightly colored fruits and vegetables, especially the dark colored ones. Watermelon is rich in citrulline a compound converted into the amino acid arginine which is a nitric oxide a precursor to nitric oxide that is true that's the best natural viagra is l-arginine beets are packed with sodium nitrate which is transformed by bacteria in your mouth into sodium nitrite that are then converted into nitric oxide. So you can't go wrong with either one. Watermelon juice also can reduce post-workout muscle sp soreness. That can make exercise and everyday activities easier for couch potatoes. And if you take at least two grams of arginine at bedtime on an empty stomach, it's, an, it's a very good secretagog, uh, human growth hormone um, producer. People with breathing problems such as COPD and heart failure studies show. Other research shows that this important compound that keeps arteries flexible also reduces blood pressure. Bottom line, we have been talking up the benefits of nitric oxide for a long time. These fascinating studies drill down into how one food can help you get or stay healthy. The big picture? We all need plenty 
of nitric oxide every day. Here is how to get it. Load up on natural nitrates. Plenty of veggies and fruits pack a nitrite, nitrate wallop. They belong on everyone's plate seven days a week. In fact, some researchers suspect that artery relaxing nitrates are a big reason for the blood pressure lowering process or prowess of the DASH diet. The famous produce packed eating plan proven to reduce hypertension naturally. While all produce has some nitrates, choosing the right ones can increase your daily intake almost tenfold. Top sources, of course, are beets, spinach, radishes, arugula, celery, watercress, and plain old lettuce. You know, watercress is very high in nutritional density. I ain't no manatee! So is um, uh, Swiss chard, very high in nutritional density as well. Uh, uh, higher than kale, I think. But kale is up there, though. Um, there's a, um, <coughs> there is a domesticated type of dandelion that the Italians grow, but I don't think I could get used to it because it's bitter. <laughs> but uh, th that's why chicory is bitter. Chicory is actually in the dandelion family. Um, and then, but the, the two, what interests me are the two um, weeds that people try to kill, uh, purslane and uh, plantain. And uh, if you Google them and saw the photo, you will immediately say, oh wow, I have them in my yard every year. Hmm. They're usually like in between the dandelions. Very high in nutrition, very high. Other nitrate rich edibles include Chinese cabbage, fennel, leeks, turnips, endive, broccoli, cucumbers, carrots, pumpkin, and cauliflower and the herbs like dill and parsley. Ban bananas, pomegranate juice, and oranges also are good choices. Yeah, I used to, I can't find it anymore because um, um, it was reasonably priced from Italy. I used to have pomegranate vinegar in the house. I used to mix that with my apple cider vinegar. Yeah, pomegranate is great. The peel, the peel. Hey, listen, don't forget, don't throw away the, the rind. If you have a juicer, juice the rind. You know, after you wash and get the pesticides off, of course. Don't forget the lemon rind. That oil, uh, lemonine or whatever it's called, the, 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 is, is a powerful cancer cell destroyer. Lemon, I think it's lemon lean. Lemon, yeah, it's the oil, the lemon oil, the oil right. in the rind, yeah. yeah. And plus there's bioflavonoids hmm. in the white part of the rind. Cooking leaches some nitrates from veggies, to be sure. So be sure you have the super source raw once in a while. That's as easy as tossing together a spinach and arugula salad. Grating beets and carrots for a colorful slaw. Or crunching celery sticks and radish slices. Dunked in yogurt dip. We like yogurt mixed with lemon juice, dill, garlic, and a splash of olive oil for Mediterranean piaz. <laughs> Don't confuse fruit and vegetable nitrates with the nitrites in processed meats. Cured foods like hot dogs and bacon can be high in nitrites. Yeah, high in roadkill too. Cancer causing compounds related to meat preservatives. If you eat too much uh, cured meats, you will eventually have to be cured. 
of something. These additives keep meats looking pink and discourage the growth of bacteria. Red meat and processed meats can threaten your heart. And in a recent warning from the World Health Organization, also boost your cancer risk. That's right. So don't skip fruits and veggies. But do cut back, or better yet, cut out all processed meats. Well, I have to admit, I'm a salami lover. And, um, um, uh, kielbasa, you know, stuff like that. Uh, prosciutto. I don't have it that often, but anyway. If you're curious about beets or watermelon smoothies, make your own. Most of us have a juicer or a blender or a food processor. So pull one out. We like the blenders or processors best as they keep the fiber in your juice. Get that Nutri Bullet RX, man. 1800 watts of power. All right, but the juice extractor is important too because the uh, it makes the nutrients cell ready. It sort of puts it in a pre-digestive form, you know. But you got to get a good juicer like the Omega Slow Masticating Juicer. It costs more, but your pulp is dry. In other words, it gets all the juice out of your produce. You can put it's so many great things you can juice, uh, Dr. Bill. Piece of uh, uh, fresh uh, ginger, uh, turmeric, root, you know, uh, garlic clove. It goes on and on. Greens of all different sorts. Watermelon is easy because it's mostly juice anyway. True. For a delicious beet elixir, try. Dr. Oz's favorite red drink by blending together one half cup of peeled chopped beets, one half cup diced red pepper, two cups watermelon cubes, one cup hulled strawberries, one cup cucumber <sighs> chunks, and one half cup ice, plus grated fresh ginger, and lime juice to taste. Don't forget to juice the rind. Dr. Roz is under attack, I think, from uh, Monsanto or something. He's uh, Now what? I saw him on a program the other day. Some news program. Mm. He's become more, uh, less drug-oriented and more uh, oh well. Natural. He's going to be persona non grata pretty soon. As he's getting older. Yeah. You know, Facebook. The, you know what? The truth is the truth, Doctor Bill. That's that's all I could say. And like Bernie Sanders said, I will not yield. Facebook. Facebook has already revolutionized how we communicate, network, Sh sure has, and keep tabs on our exits. You know what? Uh, even though, even though there might be dirt under the carpet or skeletons in the closet, the idea of having somebody constantly snooping and hacking into your personal uh, things uh, is not a is not good. Even if it's a significant other, it's just not good. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Might it, or at least its chief executive, soon disrupt the presenting parenting too? Excuse me. Last week, company founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Eh. He announced that he planned to go on paternity leave. Oh, you mean he, he's going to have a kid with that with that cute Asian wife of his? That is correct. 
I hope the kid don't turn out looking like him. And not just for a few <laughs> perfunctory days, mind you, but two whole months. He can afford it. I'm sure he has lots of upper management hired to run things or not to run things, which is why, you know, all the glitches on Facebook. The company offers its U.S. employees up to four months of paid parental leave. Well, he's probably, you know, as the CEO goes, he might be uh, a, a nice sort of progressive young man, you know, uh, even though he's He's, you know, a bit of a bloodsucker. It's hard to overstate what a big deal this is. Yeah. Zuckerberg said this was a very personal decision. Presumably based on what he and his wife believe is best for their family. Why are they making a big deal out of this? His wife is pregnant. He wants to stay home with his wife for a little while with the new baby. What is the big deal? <sighs> but in making this choice, the big deal is that it doesn't occur in other businesses in America. Well, because, well he's a uh, he's filthy rich. Yes. And he and he's the C E C E O. His of, company yeah. abides by it. But right. other companies do not. But like it is in Scandinavia. That's correct. There should be adequate paternity and even more so maternity leave. That is correct because uh, business corporations are the biggest break uppers of families that exist. Oh, a, a person's career could definitely break up a family. Bingo. A person's career, sure. You know, I mean, uh, without without significant uh, leisure time and rest and, and vacations and time off to spend with your loved ones, it can definitely break up a family. But in making this choice so publicly, he's also done a major solid for, for the men and women and children of America. Yeah. That's because he's helping to finally destigmatize paternity leave. Well, look, look, the, the, the woman, the significant other, uh, 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 it, it, it's, not, it, it's not a piece of cake, uh, 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 fun and games to carry the child for eight months and give birth and, and then have, after you're, you go through labor and you're, you're, you're exhausted from that, then you, you have to care for the infant and, I mean, it helps when the father's home, you know, to help matters, to help out. I mean, uh, I think it's a great idea, you know, just, just to get it off to a good start. But, let's be clear. Outside of the tech sector, relatively few Americans have access to paid family leave. Relatively few Americans have access to to the benefits they so rightfully deserve. Fewer than one in six United States firms offers paid paternity leave. Thank you, deregulation by Republicans. But even when men are offered paid leave, they usually don't take it. Or at least not for any substantial period of time. Assholes. What are dicks? After California passed a law allowing most workers, both male and female, up to six weeks of paid family leave, Maybe the they... average father took a whopping 7.5 days off. Maybe they don't want to. They don't want to spend so much time with their wives. <laughs> After Maybe the their wives the nagged the hell out of them. You had to change the diaper. Hey, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that, do that, do this. Go here. Oh, by the way, pick up this. And then you're at the store, you know, and the phone goes off. Oh, by the way, could you add a few more things to the shopping list? Bring some Malcolm. <laughs> what, what did uh, Estelle Costanza say? 
I took a walk to get a quart of milk, and I come home and find my son uh, jerking off or whatever Master she's baby. Master baby. <laughs> oh my God. I go home for a quart of milk. Hey, I drink a quart of milk like it was a shot glass. <laughs> These behaviors <laughs> belie what men especially young men, say they want. They want? In survey after survey, fathers express a desire to be more active, co-parents, and more present in their children's lives. My father, I am your father. I'm, hey, listen, kids are not for me. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. My, my tolerance and patience is like very thin, almost nothing. So it's not for me. But for those that really are into it, God bless you. You know, I, I believe it. Adequate maternity and paternity leave. Both. As well as sick days, or paid sick days off. Not like that, um, that that's no good son of a bitch. That mother, motherfucker that wants, that wants uh, employees to contribute to a future sick day. In other words, the company doesn't want to pay for their sick days. Who the hell was it? It's a famous company. Hmm. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it was the CEO that came up with the idea. Oh, I'm sure. trying to remember. Yeah, they don't in want to give you anything. In right. survey after survey, fathers, I just read that. Today's men actually report having more difficulty balancing work and family responsibilities and more parenting related guilt than women do. Men today seem to be fighting the battles that women first waged more than a generation ago over how to be taken seriously in the office while remaining involved, committed, caregivers at home. The children are way too coddled today in America. I'm sorry, but kids, they learn a lot on their own. You know, parents are just so neurotic about, you know, uh, their, uh, how others see them as parents and uh, how effective they would be as parents. They're, they're, they're way too neurotic about it. Men who request flexible schedules, family leave, paid or unpaid, or other accommodations, risk being viewed as weak, unmasculine, and most dangerously insufficiently committed to their careers. Oh, heaven forbid they should not kill themselves at work. Such stigma hurts not only those frustrated, guilt-ridden fathers, but also children and beleaguered mothers. Oh, oh. Research has shown that when women disproportionately take advantage of work-life accommodations, employers end up punishing women as a class, relegating them to so-called mommy tracks. It's about time we bring all those regulations back and cha change the tax system. You employers have had way too much power for too long. And unions should be militant. Those women who do manage to hang on to demanding full-time careers are selfish. Are more likely to get stuck at home than their male counterparts. Yeah, people that are that much into their careers, men and women are generally very self-centered individuals, I find it, you know. But uh, it's all about me, 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 me. You know, I mean, the ones that are really gun-ho into their career where they, they can practically move their bed into their office, into their workplace. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Paul Ryan, new Speaker of the House, yeah, 
has his bed in his office five days a week. Maybe he's trying to stay or away the, from... Or the days they work. He's probably got hookers uh, visiting him there. <laughs> Whatever, but he doesn't go home until, you know, the weekend or... Oh, he actually, he actually spends that much time working? Well, I didn't say working now. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I said he has a bed in his office. Yeah, he spends a great deal of time there. Sleeping. Sleeping, Maybe. you know, screwing around, you know, who knows what he's doing. Hmm. Maybe he's got a bong in there, smoking some, some, well, uh, it sounds very cheap that he doesn't want to go home, you know, and come back. I mean, what, 172000 or, well, he's making more now. I got That's not enough? I got news for you. What they make they can easily pay for their own health insurance and retirement. They really, they really can. Yeah, but they don't. But they don't because the American people don't hold anyone's feet to the fire. And they get raises. And we on Social Security don't get no stinking raises. And the veterans, they don't want to give the poor veterans anything. Yeah. You know, and it's like, uh, you know, what is it? Social services is like less than one or two percent of the total budget yeah but that's that's bad that's yeah. bad we're 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 the you know the little guys of the nation oh yeah and the, the, the veteran the, the veterans are uh, uh, the, uh, the the immigrants all all of us we're the ruination of the country yeah but not corporate welfare or and you? and wasting money on weapons that yeah. we, that, that will not be used and wars that are for profit, it's okay to blow money on that, yes, right? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So how do you encourage more men to take advantage of family-friendly policies when they are actually offered? Policy is one possible lever. Various developed countries have tried making paternity leave mandatory introducing a pool of paid parental leave available only to fathers. This is a long article to talk about fucking children. Is it almost over? We're talking about Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, Zuckerberg. Yeah, but it's 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 basically about having babies. It's, it's No, it's about having paternal leave for fathers. Yeah, well, I said I think it's important. Yeah. Because a woman needs but, help. A woman that just had a baby needs help at that's, home. Well, that's what this is about. But it's giving you so many other reasons and everything. Why? Okay. And that involves children, of course. <sighs> now I lost my place. Such actions have been associated with big increases in paternity leave take-up rates in the United States. We don't even require employers to provide paid maternity leave. So this kind of daddy leave quota would be great but remain several steps away. The lever we do have is celebrity role models such as Zuckerberg. He's a role model. Well, yeah. Well, if he if he has nice progressive things to say, he's a role model. You know, like Pope Francis is a good role model, despite all the people that uh, put him down just because he's the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, you know, there are people who have money, big bucks, and. Uh, they're more progressive. What can I say? In the months since Zuckerberg announced that his wife, Priscilla Chan, was expecting, news coverage has been filled with speculation yeah, she's very and hope. Pretty. She's very pretty. That he would announce a lengthy paternity leave. Not only because the social science research suggests that it would be good for his family, as he noted in his Facebook post about his decision, but also because doing so would help encourage others. Mark at face Mark Zuckerberg 
marrying a, a cute, a pretty Asian, young Asian girl, marrying Mark Zuckerberg, Zucker Geek. Gee, I wonder why. Ho, ho, ho. Could it be his massive wealth? I'm sure it wasn't his schnozola. Well, ain't, that's right. It ain't his massive nose. And his scrawny body, pencil neck geek the body. Mark Billionaire Zuckerberg. The Zucker, the Zucker, the Zucker, the Zuckerman, okay. Zuckerberg. And there's a good reason to believe that Zuckerberg's president, president, excuse me, might affect how other men weigh their own. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living in the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.